So Ian and Andrew, do you all want to take, take control of what's going on here? Do you want to welcome these uh, school board members to our school? Sure. sure. Welcome to DMS. Um, before we start our tour, we're going to actually do some um, connection questions. We do this every day in SESS uh, to get to know each other and build relationships. And oh yeah, I'm Ian Foster. I'm a sixth grader here at DMS. And I'm Andrew Ihorn, and I'm an eighth grader here at Danielson. Um, uh, what is something you have in common with the person next to you? Pair up, please. Oh, we got to pair up. Everybody's got to pair up. What do y'all have in common? Well, today we both have on dresses and boots. Dresses and boots. Excellent. And what do y'all have in common? Our love for music and dancing. Yes, but the difference is she does it well, makes it look good, and I just watch and admire. So. <laughs> that is awesome. That is awesome. One thing you guys have in common is you have an amazing teacher. Would you agree with that? Yeah. Your, your thoughts on Miss Nichols? Uh, she's wonderful and she's goofy. Wonderful and goofy. Your thoughts on Miss Nichols? Same thing. Wonderful and goofy. Excellent. <laughs> Also very lovable. Very lovable. Yes. I would agree with that. She's a good people. <laughs> Buenos dias. So can anybody tell me what class I'm in right now? Raise your hand if you can tell me what I'm in class I'm in. Uh, we, you, we are in um, social studies, Miss Rubio's classroom. So what do you think about the difference between dual language and elementary versus middle school? What are the, the big changes? Um, most of it is the same. It's more, right now, for example, um, world cultures uh, goes along with the elective class, which is global justice. So they go hand in hand and we do m more project-based learning, but what they learn in social studies, they get to go deeper in. They're doing um, reading and writing in both languages. Here we only focus in Spanish because they get the reading and writing in the ELA classes. Yeah. What do you like about being in the dual language program? That you can understand a bit more of what people are saying, mm -hmm. it, because it's actually helpful helpful if you can speak both Spanish and English. And this is our first year with dual immersion students at yes. the middle school level. So wh what have you seen in that as those students may previous years would have lost their dual language program at fifth grade like everybody, but now they're continuing it into middle school? Yes. So uh, we have a lot of uh, two-way kids um, learning Spanish versus and our kids that are learning English. Those kids that are learning Spanish, they get to be speaking and talking with kids that are native, and they get to uh, understand more, and they are getting more comfortable expressing themselves in Spanish. Yes. It's amazing. And so where our dual language program is, is last year we started and, and now we're in sixth and seventh grade and next year we'll expand to sixth, seventh and eighth grade. And then the hope is to knock on the door at Glenn and be like, let's keep going. Yeah. One of the benefits you can get of being dual language is that I heard you get paid more if you know two languages. That's what, what my mom said. Nice. So having, having, being a bilingual person, you would have more opportunities when you go into the workforce. Is that what you're saying? That's awesome. How many languages do you speak? So you're going to be paid more than me. Is that okay? Very much okay. Oh. <laughs> you are murdering that stuffed animal. So it's like a teddy bear, so you can put it on your bed, and you can put stuff in there, and you can keep it safe from other people because they won't notice. Well, hopefully no one actually goes to your room that watches this so they don't go to your teddy bears now and be like, hey, I know where her stuff is. Entrepreneurship is just such a great program because it teaches these kids life skills. And so even if they don't want to go you know, have their own business, they're still learning how to problem solve, how to collaborate, how to work together. So um, I absolutely love this program. I love seeing the creative ideas that they come up with. So is your project a water bottle holder? Mm -hmm. Excellent. It's meant to fix the problem on the stage with all the water bottles. Yeah, because we keep, we have, our lost and found is out of control, correct? Yes. And so you're trying to solve that by creating a water bottle holder so that these kids do not lose the wa water bottles their parents bought for them and leave them here at the stage. The number one thing that job employers are looking for right now is problem solving. So we, we spend that first whole six weeks just, you know, doing what, making a bug me list. What are some things that bother you? And they, they go out and they ask their friends and their family and their neighbors. So just those life skills and watching them grow, it's, it's amazing and so rewarding. So you, you just left science class, you just left math class, and you're walking in Ms. Worley's entrepreneurship class, and you're about to make a phone float. What about that makes you want to come back to this class? Well, honestly, it's really just the atmosphere of the whole classroom. So, like, everyone's, like, here to help you, including other groups, and also, also Ms. Worley's always here to help. And it's just exciting because you get to, like, actually build. 
so that your imagination can like run wild and all that. I noticed a sewing machine. Yes. And I got to ask them, that is, they had no idea how to work it. No. And we, they we all learned. <laughs> but that right there just. Yes. Her team did the Go Bear Cats with the crickets. We have two crickets. We have a button maker. We have a laminator. Just so much great stuff for these students to give them all those skills. The results of the 2017 bond where Danielson Middle School was going to be built. And through that process, myself and other district leaders were able to go to Georgetown ISD and go look at their maker spaces and all the things that they would bring. And we went and researched every different campus around our area that had things like this and said, hey, what did we need and what could we bring in? And so to now walk and watch and see somebody sew, see somebody cricket, see this little cool looking ironing thing that I've never seen before, but I want, you know, see all of this from that to be in the hands of students and students using it, although they may be hurting Care Bears, it is really, really neat and really cool to see. So it, this warms my heart. Join entrepreneurship. I'm on it. I'm That's in it. It's a must. It's a must? It's a must. Is it a must for the choice sheet? Yes. kids are in choir in this school? 412. 412 students in choir. Why are 412 students in choir? Over right here? I don't know. The work that we put into everything and just mainly because of Ms. Casperg, she's an amazing teacher. Uh, we do. I believe that. So do you guys feel like a family in this room? Yes. <laughs> There's definitely a difference in the way Ms. Casberg teaches in making us improve. She's very like constructive while we're doing it. She's like, oh, hey, this part's coming up and you need to do this. Or, hey, I would really like you to decrescendo here or crescendo here. It's really constructive and it's a great way of building how we learned to sing better. Every single one of you represent every single part of our school, which is really, really neat. Mm -hmm. But a thing that I think that you said too is you guys come together as a big family in this room. And, and I think that's what's important because when things get hard or you feel like you have to work harder or you're getting to know people, it's when you guys are together, that's how you're going to accomplish challenges that are in your face in seventh grade or eighth grade and going on to high school. Thank you, choir. Do you all have any questions? Sorry, mm -hmm. it's your no, show. You're the bosses. I'm just here. No, no, no. This is great. Yeah. We're here to see you guys. Thank y'all. Thank y'all. Okay, goodbye. Bye-bye. <laughs>